The controversial life support program has been immediately terminated. The decision was announced by the Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basasa in the lower house on Friday. As Peter Christopher explains, Mrs. Prasad Basasa expressed great disappointment that the program supplemented crime as opposed to suppressing it. Because of the actions of a few, this program will have to be halted. The announcement made by Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa after revealing some of the findings of an audit report conducted on the Life Sport program. The report, which was done in the wake of media reports which raised serious questions about contracts which were handed out by the program, confirmed major discrepancies. The revelations read out like a rap sheet. The review, <coughs> as contained in the report, has revealed a number of discrepancies which include the following. Procurement breaches, a deviation from the mandates of cabinet, the involvement of some persons in criminal activities, fraud by suppliers, theft of equipment, breaches of the Proceeds of Crime Act, and poor control and monitoring <clears throat> by officers of the ministry. The Prime Minister said she was disappointed that the programme, which was developed to turn youngsters away from the law of criminal activities, instead became a hub for such activities. And this is where I must express my personal deep disappointment and dismay that a programme that was intended to save lives, to build lives, was used by a group of people for fraud and personal gain. This group of people derailed the good intentions of the programme have in effect given their support to criminality in some cases rather than to our young people. The Prime Minister confirmed that the findings of the report conducted by the Audit Committee were serious enough to be forwarded to the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Acting Commissioner of Police. Further, I have accepted the recommendations of the Audit Committee and in that regard I have instructed the Honourable Attorney General to turn the report over to the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Commissioner of Police to investigate, detain and prosecute those guilty to the fullest extent of the law. The Prime Minister says the situation has also confirmed the need for new procurement measures to be established to avoid similar instances of corruption in the future. Peter Christopher, C.